Well, I'm delighted to be joined now by Andrea Bertozzi from uh, UCLA. Andrea, welcome. Oh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for, to be here. for coming on our mm -hmm. program. Now, you've got a really fascinating subject to get your, your uh, teeth into, haven't you? Tell us a little bit about it. Sure. Well, I'm giving a talk later this afternoon on uh, some work we're doing related to the Gulf oil spill. And really, this work is about uh, some basic science and how mathematics can be used to understand uh, uh, basic uh, science related to uh, what happens when oil, very viscous oil, washes up on beaches, it mixes with the sand, where does it end up? Um, are there things we could do to the beaches, special preparation that we could do if we know that there's an oil spill coming in order to better contain the oil and, and dispose of it in an efficient way? And uh, our research is really aimed at more at the scientific community rather than engineering, but we're hoping some of these results will be useful for people designing new procedures in the future. So how does, uh, how does maths get involved in, uh, in all of that? Oh, it's a great question. Well, it gets involved at many different levels. So we actually do experiments in a lab. We have a small lab at UCLA. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it consists of a, of a table that's tilted at an angle, and we mix oil with various uh, particulates, and we look at what happens when they flow on different gradations of slope. So we've done experiments with real beach sand. We've done experiments with uh, glass beads that you can you can purchase from companies, and these beads are are uh, machined to very precise sizes. So, for example, we can order beads that uh, very closely align with the the actual size of the grains of sand in the Gulf of Mexico. If we want to do that, you know. and what are some of the things you've learned? Oh, well, we've learned some, uh, some, well, I guess I would say it's, it's, it's fundamental science, but it's, uh, in order to understand this, we had to really bring together both experimental work with some advanced mathematics. So we're working on problems that involve modeling using uh, conservation laws, so theory of differential equations. And uh, we are also doing some high performance computing and designing new numerical algorithms for some of our models. And we're trying to understand what the important physics is in these processes. You might think if you just dump oil on top of sand that physicists would know exactly what the most important physics is, and they actually don't. It's very new research. And have you, I mean, as you say, it's new research, but have you learned anything that's going to uh, help us for future spills? Sure. So one of the things we've done in, in the research group is, depending on the size of the, the grains of the sand and uh, various other uh, features in the problem, uh, there's actually a critical inclination angle for the, uh, for the grade of the beach by which you can predict um, different types of patterns and how the oil will collect on that, uh, on that grade. So this pot could potentially be useful for future um, work that's being done uh, in the sense that um, if one is interested in, in uh, uh, collecting the oil in a certain location, um, you definitely don't want to set up your beach one way. There's another way you might want to do it. It's, a, it's something that would be very interesting to look at in terms of the, the topography of the land, the, you know, the coastal areas. Uh, so I think some of our basic research may have applications in that direction. Andrew, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome. So we're off to the uh, University of St. Thomas, the mathematics department in Minnesota.